It was a fine sunny day in Big City. All the tugs were at work, including the Z-Stacks. Everyone that is, except Sunshine, he wasn't in the city. In fact, he wasn't anywhere to be seen. He wasn't in the open water. He He wasn't in Lucas Yard. And he wasn't in the Rocky B. He was in up river taking some parts from the ship's graveyard. He wanted to take them to some new dock just far from the United Kingdom. Perhaps he could be away from Zorin. He would be calling my name, but I'm not, uh, he chuffed. Instead of taking the long voyage, he visited the shed where adventures could begin. inside. Shoo. He went inside. Oh. He saw the flag with a chain. Interested, he took it to the fitting room. Once inside, he quickly changed, then went through the other door that led to adventures. On the other side, he came to an unfamiliar dock with rocks and a gap in the middle. Sunshine thought it looked like his destination, who docked to deliver the parts. He met something small that was a tug, but looked small.
Oh, hi, sunshine. Long time. You oh, see, since I came to the United Kingdom by bus, said Scuffy, which is his name. Oh, oh Scuffy, I haven't forgotten that time, but didn't you? In the stop, uh, said Sunshine. He began talking on Scuffer's adventure in London and how he made his visit to the Welsh beach in Wales. Total took me as we went to Wales after taking a big book leaving the United States of America. Finished Scuffer. That's right, and is little Coop Bookland pleased to her the trip Coop well? said Toto, who came steaming up to the dog. Oh, Toto, I've got some parts for you, in case you have a big ball, said Sunshine. Oh, thanks. I needed some wheels for the workshop. What are you doing here, by the way? asked Toto. I'm likely to explore your hoopland because I got an elephant that wants to listen to the jungle land, said Sunshine. It's a good thing you did. We just got a river that's big enough for you and me to fit in. It coops from Cave Tog to the jungle before the chain yard with a normal village with the dock wearing, said Scuffy. By the way, while I was heading her, I lost Katie Caboose. She went missing from me. Total explained the problem. What? What happened to her? Asked Sunshine. She fell off the line into the rocks, and I didn't notice till too late. I'll find her. The fence split it up in separate routes, heading to the jungle land. Some Sunshine and Scuffy went through the river, far away from the rail line, looking left and right, as well as looking ahead, be cold and cold. K 
Kitty, Kitty, where are you? Kitty, where are you, little caboose? There was no reply for a minute until he came to Cave Tom. Hello, said a voice. Scuffy and Sunshine looked up after stopping. It was a shocking sight when they saw who was calling and standing on a high rock. Plumy, no, Kitty, what are you doing up there? called Sunshine. Standing still because I'm on the wet spot, on the flat part. Even if I try any attempt to get off, I get a spooky feeling that if I move, I would break into pieces, said Kitty, rather stressed. You just stay where you are, Lassie, talk to my cub, or I'll lead you him. Toto came up before he could do. I heard her telling you, Sunshine. What shall I do? called he. Find the key, Toto. You'll be the one to reach her, called Sunshine. So he did. He came back with the cane and started lifting Kitty back onto the line. Oh. There you are. You missed the delivery, said Toto. Thanks, Toto. My wheels weren't dented, thank goodness, said Kitty, believed. Eventually, we reached the jungle land and had the elephant in place just in time for the ridge to fall. We got the elephant delivered, but we got Kitty to mend. She's damaged her axle, said Scuffy. think I can get who on the line like this. It was squeaking before it banded on me. How oh, can I break the chain? said Kitty. I've got a part for you. Right on my barge. I can get you to the works, said Sunshine. workman got the spare axle in place of the bent one. Total 
tested her to make sure she didn't bounce or shake. Very well, good as new, said Sancho. Thanks, Sunshine. Um, when we first met in the United Kingdom, you saw the axle was bent when I was shaking. You tried to warn me, but I didn't take any hooters. Uh, sorry if I didn't listen said Kitty and Babbis. That's all right. The accident did give you a lesson. I too hope you Take more care on your work parts. A monster truck called Micho, you too, banged Zorro's stack. He fixed it, but the insides needed to be cleaned. And too, too, the rivets that fell in it. It's a case of Bad luck, but can cause a fire to burn his inner deck. Your, your chimney looks alright when we met the first time. It has spook that looks normal, spook that looks clean said Sunshine. I had the men clean it so my conductor would cook his lunch. Time we should head back to work, said Scuffy. We got leaves to clear away. Bye then, sunshine. Still haven't finished the shift, said Toto. And he of his friends left the dock. Sunshine decided to head for who? He saw the shed nearby, thinking he should rest before heading away. As soon as he went in it, he found himself back in the fitting room of the shop with the ship's graveyard. He changed to his original flag and headed to the pier. It was still empty when he got home. Oh, that was 
Hubschraub Chip als Bild. It's just a Hubschraub doesn't ask where I've been.